All right, I'm hoping I can transfer this video to um, my computer easily, but I'm recording on my iPhone right now because I managed to forget my GoPro down at the barracks. Um, it's Independence Day today. I'm staying up at the tower tonight. Um, kind of uh, hoping that I see some fireworks in some of the towns because I think that's gonna be cool, but also because we're gonna get extended pretty late today and I figured it was just worth it staying up here. Um, plus there might be some random people setting off fireworks out in the forest, which is definitely not legal. So figured it'd be worth it staying up here tonight. So I'll be recording on my phone. Hopefully it turns out pretty well. I mean, but it isn't that bad on this. So let's see how it goes. So one thing that's going on right now that's a bit different is I'm sure you can see the the line of smoke over there past Herd Peak. That is the Shelly Fire, which is around somewhere between 300 and 400 acres right now. Started up, uh, I think, yesterday. There's been a whole bunch of fires going around California, and that's the only big one on our forest right now. All right, well, it's almost nine o'clock. Uh, we got extended to 20, 100 today, so. Nice and calm now. It's cooled down quite a bit, which is nice. Sunset's real pretty. You can really see the smoke from the Shelly fire right now. That purpley rose. Yep. Just gonna kinda stick around. I'm hoping that Klamath Falls will do a fireworks show up that way. I'm trying to hide from the wind right now because I don't have my windscreen on the microphone. Up. We'll see if I can see anything up here. All right, well, it's about quarter to ten. Oh, there's a little spray of light. I'm not sure if that area is supposed to be setting off fireworks. I've been trying to see the regulations. Looks like there's pretty strict regulations for um, the towns that fireworks can be set off in, but. I don't know. Might just send a text to my superior and let him know. But hopefully I can see Klamath Falls from here. All right, I kind of have Klamath Falls lined up on here. It is near impossible to do this, okay. There they are. They keep doing them in little bursts. They must have the, the preset rocket packs. Oh my goodness, it's so hard to line up. There were some more going down over here, west of Mount Hebron. Then again, that's in like the agricultural area, so I don't know exactly how the uh, law applies there. Oh, I just saw them set off a few. It's so difficult to try and figure out when people are gonna actually set them off. It's like watching a lightning storm, just gotta keep my head on a swivel. Usually I'm too late to pull out the phone. There's some way over by Goose Lake. Oh, yay. Oh my gosh. That's literally like 70 miles away. They're way out there. Oh, that's great. <laughs> wow. 
Well, for the most part, I think fireworks are wrapped up for tonight. Um, it was super, super hard to line up the shots on the scope. It would have been easier with my GoPro, but at least I got a couple of decent shots, I think. Um, I think Klamath Falls is all wrapped up. They kind of popped up again for a little bit, but they're hard to see over that way. That one, I don't even know what town that is. They've literally been going for like the past 15 minutes. Oh, now they stopped. But they'll keep popping up every once in a while. And I mean, it, it had been going on for such a long time. I can't figure out what town it's supposed to be, but it is way out there. Oh, now they start up again. Yeah, I don't know. But pretty fun. Glad I got to see some fireworks from up here. Um, this is more so for a job importance, less so for enjoying fireworks, but I just saw some, oh, is that it? I'm trying to figure out where it is. I'm not really lining up the camera very well, but there's some fireworks getting shot down by the railroad tracks down here, which is in the forest. So um, they're there. I'm gonna have to report that because that's definitely not legal. Yeah, there's definitely some kids lighting off Roman candles down by the keg pit. Thankfully, that is a really rocky area, but I mean, it's still definitely super illegal to light those off right now, especially since we have like high winds, high daytime temperatures. I think we're in a high fire danger rating right now. So I don't know. I texted my supervisor. I don't think they're going to do anything tonight, but I'll just keep an eye on it come morning. Well, I just saw them light off an actual firework upgrading from, the, oh, there's another one. Uh, I turned on my lantern up here so they would hopefully know that I'm up here, but I don't know. Did what I could, so. Turn the radio on to see if anyone's gonna respond. A lot of people back home uh, in Michigan probably aren't gonna quite understand this, but yeah, those kids or whatever, it could be adults, who knows, screwing around down by the keg pit right now is a terrible idea because Right now, we're not only in a red flag warning, but we've got at least some 10 mile an hour winds from the north. It's gonna get super hot during the day tomorrow. So if there's anything that's kind of smoldering overnight, then it is just gonna flare up in the morning. So, yeah, hopefully nothing happens with what they're doing, but I mean, I know that it's relatively green around there. And if they have any strays that are caught in the wind, heaven forbid it lights something while I'm up here.